<laughs> Jung was adorable. He's so adorable. <laughs> I can't get up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're going to check out Enhypen's newest comeback. Only if you say yes to the music video. I'm very, very curious about this because it's almost five minutes long. And as we know, normally like K-pop songs are normally like under three minutes nowadays. But I wonder what it will be to for it to be like almost five minutes long. It's probably going to have like some sort of like film content in it, like storytelling aspect that kind of corresponds with their storyline which i think is so cool but before i get to it just want to let you guys know that i did react to and happens new dorm <laughs> such a weird thing to say um so if you guys don't know they moved into a new dorm recently and so i reacted to it um i loved looking at what kind of aesthetic their rooms were it was so cool and it was amazing for them to share it with us also if you guys still haven't seen my uh reaction to their weavers performance it is available on patreon too because it does get blocked here there's a ton of content on patreon um, it does keep the channel alive so yeah I'm also gonna be covering the album so as usual you know we're gonna go through it and I'll probably go back to it and like pause and stuff okay and hype in XO only if you say yes let's get to it oh that's bright oh my ah. Yo. I feel like the hold on I feel like the last time it was this bright on a music video was I if I can remember cor correctly, it's Go Big or Go Home, the one with the football. And they were like trying to reach the football, and they, but there was sun, so they couldn't really. And it didn't click with me that it, they were like vampires at the time. So I'm like, oh, why won't you, why won't you just like reach over? <laughs> I remember that one. Okay. Sorry. Summer concept. I was expecting something. I, I guess we'll see where it goes, but I was expecting for it to be a little bit of a darker concept because of the film. But this makes sense. It's still summer. Yo, where are my subs? Oh! Oh my god! That's a beautiful shot! Yo, I spoke too soon. I like this. That's a great intro. That would be so grand with choreo, I can tell already. Whoa, that's different! <laughs> also, Jung Won, K drama actor looking. That's a vibe! Yo, this is so them! K-drama vibes is so cool. Hey. Hey. Beautiful. <gasps> wow! Damn, Nikki! Sir! On the ground! I like the length of this so far. Oh, wait! <laughs> Shit. Yo! The outfits are chill! Oh my god! Yo, this is getting like boy band, like, um, in sync. The wardrobing. Would you kiss me? Would you hug me? Or I'll go hard, yeah, yeah. Sir! It's so pretty. Hey! This, is, this feels like the type of songs they listen to. I like that. Whoa! Yo, that's a twist. Oh, 
That's so cool. Like with a butterfly. Uh, what is it? A bat? Behind? Oh, it's a butterfly. Whoa! Okay, that's so cool! Just like a whole ass movie concept. Cause you know, we got the K-drama vibes. And then the fantasy aspect. They're so gorgeous. <laughs> Cute! <laughs> wow! What a direction to move into. Yeah, I've actually had like the wired earphones for the longest time. I'm like speaking while looking at him because he's so pretty. <laughs> I've had the for the gym and stuff for the longest time and I recently switched to like wireless headphones. But I feel represented with my <laughs> wired. <laughs> they're, just, they're just in the middle of the road. Oh my god. Yo, the face card is insane. What happened? Start! <laughs> Yo, okay, okay, okay. All right, oh wow, yeah, what a direction for them to go into. This was not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, just because based off the, uh, I really thought, I mean, we'll see about the performance and stuff, the choreography and everything when the dance practice comes. But musically, sonically, I was expecting something a little bit of a heavier, grander song because I feel like Sweet Venom was quite chill from like Bite Me. Like, I still love Sweet Venom, nonetheless. Made it to my like top songs last year. Um, but I just thought it would be like, you know, because Bite Me is so grand of a song. Like it's a finale type of stuff. And then Sweet Venom, you know, it's a little bit more chill, a little bit more vibey. And then I thought they were going to go back up to like a grander scale um, just because of, you know, for example, the film and also because of the pattern of the songs. But no, it's a lot more chill here. It's almost something that you would put as a B-side, um, like a strong B-side. You know those songs where it is on the B-side, but then you're like, oh my God, that should be a title track. Or like, oh my God, that's such a good song. Um, I'm glad it's here. Or like the ones that go viral. Sometimes there's a B-side that's just so good and it becomes a it becomes viral and it's not necessarily the, t the title track but this one it's quite a direction for them to go into and lean into it's so much chiller as a song this is not a pre-release right sometimes like when it's chill like this it makes me think that it might be a pre-release but i don't think so correct me if i'm wrong there are a lot of dates in my head <laughs> so right off the bat music video wise i do like the uh key drama vibes, you know, like that kind of storytelling and it's consistent with their story, with their lore. I, I do like this because we kind of see a little bit more of like their modern day as humans and then the switches for them when they go into like vampire mode with like, you know, the darker costumes with like the wings and stuff. So I think that's really cool. I think they could definitely explore more of that. Um, I can see why they didn't go full out with that in mind. Like, I think they could have gone a lot more grander um, in terms of like the switch, you know, from like the, the real life situation and then go into a big drop of like, you know, the fantasy stuff. But I can see why they won't because if they're going to, I, I'm not sure yet, if they have a comeback in the fall, I feel like that is where we're going to lean into with a big with a bigger concept with a darker concept with like the fantasy aspect of this specific music video um that's just my guess though okay let's go through it again <laughs> I like the lens that they're using. <laughs> Sorry. Like the, this uh, 
Because look at the blur, the bokeh, it's called the bokeh. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's B-O-K-E-H. I've, I've heard some people say bokeh, <laughs> but for me, it's like bokeh. I don't know. It's, it's this blur, the background blur. That's cool. I like that. It does give that fantasy aspect to it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's such a, oh my god, this cinematography is insane. I like this. Um, that was so cool when the car passed by because he was leaving, but instead of like just running away, he turns into a bat. And yeah, I love that. <laughs> Um, this almost feels like it's uh, kind of a nod to Sung Hoon's um, ice skating career um, because this swimming pool, it almost feels like a skating rink, like the shape of it. But this is beautiful, like with the moon and everything. That's so cinematic. <laughs> They're all so gorgeous. Oh my god. Wow. I like that too. I love the fantasy aspect. They're really they're really digging into they're really digging into that fantasy lore, which is great. I I love their concept so much. I think it fits and hype in so well. Um they really nailed it. This whole intro, like the the instrumentation aspect, it's so good. It's going to be grand, I feel like. I'm hoping anyway for like the dance practice, like the choreo to it and also for like the award show season. It's like giving, you know, the in in the in vampire lore, just in general, you know, the organ I don't know if I'm referencing this right, but like there's an organ in like whenever there's like a vampire movie in the vampire kind of fantasy storytelling. And I feel like this is like a modern twist to that. I like this uh, melody. They sound good. <laughs> Oh my god, he's on. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, just like intrusive thoughts. Um, this reminds me of the type of songs that he sung was listening, uh, was singing on his uh Limujin. I feel like it's kind of in that vein. Not it may not be like completely the same genre, but like it's in that vein that's very chill, very cool, just vibey type of uh type of songs. Um he looks so freaking good against this, like, against a motorcycle. By the way, I did react to his Limujin. Go check it out. It is on my Patreon. So that's why I mentioned earlier that it just feels like something that it would just like normally listen to. Not even just because it's their own song. It's just so their vibe. Hey. I like the way he's singing this. So gorgeous. Run! Oh my god, is that his, is that his part time job? Ah, the details! The flower shop! I need a movie now, hype! B lift. <laughs> nice takeoff. Yeah. Oh, Zagan! <laughs> Jung was adorable! He's so adorable. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh my god. Boyfriend vibes for sure. Beautiful so... setup. This one though, oh my god. It, he, he looks like, uh, um, I'm so sorry. Forgot her name. The girl from Squid Game and we know all that. Uh, but recently it kind of resurfaced that whole conversation because she was doing an interview and like, it was shown to her, like, the picture and, like, oh, did you know that fans think that you guys look alike? Da -da 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 -da. Um, and, like, in this shot, it is so her. Damn. I like that. Ah! Oh, I love the styling. So cool. They've always been, like, such fashion inspirations to me. Um, I like the groundwork. <laughs> 
I hope that I hope that they release a performance video here with these outfits. I think that would be really cool. I can already tell this is gonna kill me, this choreo. But just letting you guys know, doing um knee work on concrete, it's hard. It's difficult because that thing can scratch your knees, you know? Because like normally what I would say is like sometimes they do use knee pads or like some sort of like knee strap to kind of like, you know, smooth in whenever they would like slide or do knee work. But like on concrete, I don't think it's as effective because it's not it's it's not smooth. The surface is not smooth, right? It's it's very gritty. I don't know what the, what the choreo is, but like if it's, if it's extensive, then it, it may even like scrape. You know, you guys know how it is. You, we've all been children before. We know how it is when we fall on on the knees and stuff on concrete or like even kind of like slide there. Yeah, it's um, it's commitment to the choreo though. I wonder if this is an upgrading, because this feels like it would be an upgrading in Seoul, that expensive ass area in Seoul. <laughs> I need to check out the whole audio without the breaks. It's 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 funny how when uh Sung Hoon was traveling, um he just disappeared into as a vampire, you know, just to kind of probably like to travel faster, but like uh Sunu is like taking the train. But I get it, sometimes they need to like kinda, you know, present as humans, but it's just so funny. This is definitely in line with what I listen to nowadays. Hey, look at the early 2000s reference. Like, with a headband? Early 2000s or 90s? I feel like more 90s. When was NSYNC? Um, yeah, like with the headbands. And then like the plaid around the waist. Nowadays that that is like usually like wrapped around here. But um no, this is like because of the nostalgia effect, it's on the waist. Whoa. Not even a question. Yo! This deadly back-to-back -back visuals. Jesus Christ. Look. The beauty shots are insane. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa. Damn, the switch. This is very in hype though, this kind of sound. That's so pretty. In... <laughs> the one, the, the butterfly at the back, that's cool. I wouldn't be mad if they do a performance video in these outfits too. That's amazing. Whenever it switches into like the fantasy aspect of their lore, it's just so cool. Look at the eyes! Oh my god, it's like the ocean in there. That's so awesome! You know how like some people, they have the Avengers, Marvel, that they really like fan over? I'm like that with like their lore now. I'm like, the more we see it on screen, the more we see like the visual aspect of it. Because, you know, I, I know that there's a webtoon and then it's kind of been um reference in their music videos but now we're getting kind of like on the nose with it and i just love it i hope we lean into it more and that we see more and more of it because it's just so cool it's like such a simple scene you know like to set up but you add the wings and it's just like whoa oh my god <laughs> yo i was like like blown away by like sanu and then john and, oh like and then Jung Won comes on with that frame. Like, look, that's so awesome. Yo, B-Lift, hi, please finance a whole freaking movie. 
Oh my god, I want to see this in full. I want to see it. <laughs> Look, then like this. Yo, Jungwa. Ah, that's so cool. <gasps> oh my god. With the glasses though. And they like that body weight. <laughs> Let's go, Jake. I love Jake's hair. Oh, did, well, yo. What did you do? Did you? The hand! <gasps> Sir! Can we just need the dance practice? It's probably gonna kill me again. <laughs> the POV! Hey! Oh my god! That's so cool. This is the shortest I've seen Nikki's hair. It's always been like long, right? And you guys know how much I love Nikki's hair. I love the way they styled it here. Hey, that face card is insane. <laughs> I wanna know what this means you guys probably already know like what it means like why are they just like <laughs> you know in the middle of the road and the humans can see them and then he stares into them and then they were like okay never mind just chill there we'll wait that's how powerful nikki is <laughs> My God! Yeah, this is definitely unexpected. Um, I don't know if anybody was expecting this kind of vibe from them for this title track. Um, but that's the beauty of it. You know, we never really can tell the versatility of these guys are just so forefront. You know, um, I like I, I like the vibe of the song. This is definitely in line with the type of songs that I listen to nowadays. And so that's an automatic playlist for me. It's definitely less grand than like Fatal Trouble. And I know that Fatal Trouble became viral with the fandom. Um, so I don't know how you guys would feel about this right after Fatal Trouble. Because that, that one's quite grand. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. All right, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you take that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, I do have an Instagram link is down below.